So let's go and find some decent woods from this soiny area. So here we go. Nice looking place. I'm gonna circle a real little trip around there on the southern reaches of this hill. Now let's take this journey to the east to that ridge over there behind those trees. It's Sotakorven Kangas and on that there was that hiking route which I was taking the last trip. Now this is utterly fantastic. I mean, here's sort of a sense that you are actually in the wild. There. Well, here's a nice tracks of galliform of some sort. It's landed there and walk behind that, by that pine tree and then set off again. Nice. So back to woods. I think I'm gonna head northeast now to see if I can find that hiking route that I was taking in the autumn. See what it looks like during the winter time. <clears throat> well, I was kind of hoping that I could say something like, here it is, and it has been transformed into a skiing track. But clearly, well, at some point, yes, it might have been a skiing track, but now just hasn't been taken care of. But in theory, you can ski. That hiking route that I was taking in the autumn clip, if you remember, from Soini Town Center into that Arpanen place, that cabin. We still have pretty substantial amount of these skiing racks late in Soini area to this particular one. It's called Mottimilian Lenki, and there was actually yesterday there was a Mottimilian Hiihto event in Soini. This is 18 and a half kilometers there, there, there and thereabout. Long, it comes from all the way to Soini town center and circles this 18 kilometer strip. And it was the same sort of event as the Arpanen Patikka. Some people come here and they ski around this, and there are some places where you can get some juice and sausages, maybe. And stuff like that. So there's that sort of events. And there was a couple of weeks back, perhaps a month or so back, there was a moonlit ski, which was actually a pretty nice idea. But there are that sort of winter events here, if you are interested. Feel free to join, and in Soini website there are more information about those events. There was some tracks of some bit larger animal. They were very very old tracks though. Perhaps an elk. Lovely. <sighs> oh my goodness. This is very very beautiful place now. There's huge birch trees and spruces and few huge pines here and there. Well, it could use a hundred years or so to be left alone still because as you can see those pines are not that old. But look at those beautiful mushrooms on that dead bird. Ah, oh, enchanting place. Look at how much there is the beard most here. Let's continue a little bit more. And listen. A 
to utter silence. This place behind me is home to some tallest spruces in Soini area. And as you can see, the pines here already started to form that shield bark on their trunks. And it just looks very, very astonishing. I mean, this is probably the only place in Soini where there's still nearly 300 year old entities left. I'm gonna hop onto my skis and, and show you a little bit of around here. That was a mistake. You do feel rather small in here. Very insignificant. Goodness, I adore this place. In Soini we have a very, very old and very aggressive industrial forest usage. It's stretching all the way back to the 1700s when the people started to make the tar. And we still have a, this place here. It survived. And it is remarkable. It's worth to preserve this. Because we, Soini folk, we don't have much more than our nature. Well, we do have a frisbee golf track slash cemetery. I don't know what it means either. Let's do not forget our roots. Our roots are in the woods. Goodbye. <laughs>